The Royal Antelope, also known as the Royal Dick Dick, is a small and elusive antelope species found in West Africa. These tiny antelopes are known for their diminutive size and secretive nature. They are native to the rainforests and dense woodlands of West Africa. They are found in countries such as Sierra Leone, Liberia, Guinea, Ivory Coast, Ghana, and parts of Nigeria. The conservation status of royal antelopes is not well documented, but they are believed to be facing threats due to habitat loss and hunting. However, due to their secretive nature and small size, they are challenging to study and conserve effectively. These tiny antelopes play a role in the ecosystems they inhabit by helping to disperse seeds of the fruits and plants they consume. They are preyed upon by various predators, including larger carnivores and birds of prey. Royal antelopes have a reddish-brown to grayish-brown coat with white underparts. The reddish-brown coloration predominates on their upper body, while their lower body and belly are white. This coloration helps them blend into the dappled light and shadows of the forest floor. The combination of reddish-brown and white serves as effective camouflage in their dense forest habitat. Royal antelopes have a small and delicate build. They are one of the smallest antelope species in the world. They stand at a shoulder height of approximately 25 to 30 centimeters. This diminutive size allows them to navigate through the dense underbrush of the rainforest with ease. Royal antelopes have a small and delicate build. They are one of the smallest antelope species in the world. They stand at a shoulder height of approximately 25 to 30 centimeters. This diminutive size allows them to navigate through the dense underbrush of the rainforest with ease. Male royal antelopes typically have short, straight horns that are only a few inches long. These horns are slender and point slightly backward. Female royal antelopes do not have horns. They have relatively large, dark eyes, which are adapted to their low-light forest environment, allowing them to detect movement and predators. Leopards are skilled and agile hunters known for their ability to climb trees and navigate through dense forests. They pose a significant threat to royal antelopes, as they can stalk and ambush their prey. African Golden Cats, these small, elusive felines are also found in West and Central Africa and are known to prey on smaller mammals, including royal antelopes. Large snakes, such as African pythons, are opportunistic predators that may occasionally prey on royal antelopes, particularly young or weakened individuals. Various raptors, including eagles and hawks, are potential aerial predators of royal antelopes. These birds can swoop down and capture small antelopes when they are exposed in open areas. Some smaller carnivores like civets and genets may also prey on royal antelopes when given the opportunity. Unfortunately, humans are one of the major threats to royal antelopes. They are hunted for their meat and their small size makes them a target for bush meat trade in some regions. Habitat destruction due to human activities further exacerbates the threats to their population. Royal antelopes are primarily solitary animals. They are rarely seen in groups, except when they come together for mating purposes. Each antelope typically maintains its own territory, which it marks with urine and dung to communicate with other individuals. These antelopes are primarily crepuscular and nocturnal, which means they are most active during the early morning and late afternoon and into the night. This behavior helps them avoid daytime predators and overheating in the dense forest. Royal antelopes are known for their shy and secretive behavior. They are well adapted to avoiding predators by staying hidden and still, relying on their camouflage. When approached, they often freeze and try to blend in with their surroundings. When threatened, royal antelopes use their agility and speed to evade predators. They can dart through the dense vegetation to escape, relying on their small size and agility to navigate the forest floor. 
The lifespan of a royal antelope in the wild is not well documented, primarily due to their elusive and secretive nature, which makes them challenging to study. In captivity, such as in wildlife reserves and zoos, royal antelopes have been known to live for around 10 to 15 years or even longer with proper care and attention to their needs. In the wild, many factors can influence the lifespan of royal antelopes, including predation, disease, habitat quality, and human activities such as hunting and habitat destruction. These factors can significantly affect their survival and longevity. Since they are small and relatively inconspicuous, royal antelopes are vulnerable to predation by various predators in their natural habitat. While there is limited information about their exact lifespan in the wild, it is safe to assume that it is likely shorter than their potential lifespan in captivity due to the challenges they face in their natural environment. Conservation efforts are crucial to help protect and preserve this species in the wild and ensure their longevity. Royal antelopes can emit soft grunting sounds, which are often used in communication during mating rituals and encounters with other individuals. These grunts may be associated with courtship or territorial disputes between males. Sometimes, they may produce chattering noises, which can also be part of their vocal repertoire during social interactions. Royal antelopes browse on leaves from a range of plant species. They are often seen feeding on the tender leaves of low-lying plants and shrubs in the understory of the forest. This includes a variety of tree and shrub species. In addition to leaves, royal antelopes may also consume plant shoots, which are young, succulent stems or growth tips. These can be a valuable food source, especially during certain seasons. They may graze on various herbaceous plants, which are non-woody, low-lying plants such as grasses, sedges, and other ground vegetation. Royal antelopes feed on fallen fruits and may also consume fruits from low-lying plants. Fruits can provide them with essential nutrients and energy, and they play a role in seed dispersal within the forest ecosystem. Royal antelopes do not have a strict breeding season, but there may be peak breeding periods in some regions. Mating can occur throughout the year. Males establish and defend territories that they mark with scent markings. These territories often include areas with good food sources. During the breeding season, males may become more active in defending their territories and may engage in territorial displays to attract females. When a male encounters a receptive female, he may engage in courtship rituals. This can involve soft vocalizations, chasing, and other behaviors to court the female. While they are typically solitary, during the mating season, royal antelopes may form temporary monogamous pairs. These pairs consist of a male and a female who come together for mating. Once mating is successful, the male may return to his solitary lifestyle, and the female will be responsible for raising the offspring. The gestation period in royal antelopes is approximately six months. After this period, the female gives birth to a single fawn. The newborn is relatively well-developed and can stand and move shortly after birth. The female cares for and nurses the fawn, typically in a hidden location to protect it from predators. The gestation period in royal antelopes is approximately six months. After this period, the female gives birth to a single fawn. The newborn is relatively well-developed and can stand and move shortly after birth. The female cares for and nurses the fawn, typically in a hidden location to protect it from predators. In some cases, royal antelopes have a relatively short interval between births. The female may come into estrus shortly after giving birth, allowing for the possibility of multiple births within a year. In some cases, royal antelopes have a relatively short interval between births. The female may come into estrus shortly after giving birth, allowing for the possibility of multiple births within a year.